What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick look at iOS 7 on the iPad. So here's the redesigned lock screen. There's no longer a slider here so you can slide anywhere on the lock screen to unlock the device. You can also see that there's a camera grabber down here in the bottom corner of the lock screen. And if you don't open it up all the way you're going to get a nice little bounce response when it closes back to the lock screen. So let's go ahead and unlock the device and you'll notice a completely redesigned home screen. The status bar is now transparent, there's new dots for a signal bar, and a brand new redesigned app icon for all the stock apps. There's also a feature called the parallax effect and if I move my device around it gives an effect that the icons are just sitting there floating and you can actually see behind the icons if you look closely. Now let's go into the settings here and go into brightness and wallpaper there are now dynamic wallpapers so if I go into them here you'll notice all the different colors but the same wallpaper and if I tap on one here you can actually see the dots in the background moving around now this works on your lock screen and your springboard next up is the control center which is accessible from the home screen the lock screen or within an app and all you have to do is just slide up from the bottom here and you'll get a transparent overlay that has a really high level of detail and you'll notice a lot of thought has gone into this. Now you have your music controls over here to the top left and followed by your toggles right here in the middle and two quick access apps which are the timer and the camera. Now one thing that the iPad has that the iPhone doesn't have in iOS 7 in the control center is this little mute slider over here and following that to the right will be your airplay toggle and your brightness slider. So next we'll go into the app switcher here just by double pressing the home button and you'll see an all new card based interface. Now you can see a preview of the app here in the icon right below it and to close an application all you have to do is just swipe up. You can close two or three apps at the same time just using two or three fingers just like that. Now if we open up the camera here, you're going to notice a brand new interface that allows you to swipe up, swipe down, to change it from photo, video, square photo. Now you also have an option for HDR photos, which is new for the iPad. Now going into the notification center here, it has three tabs now. It has your today, all, and miss tabs. Now these tabs are pretty self-explanatory, but the today tab is going to give you your current weather, calendar events, reminders and the all tab is going to give you your alerts within the last 24 hours and I literally just restored my device so I don't have any alerts here and I'm not going to have any in the missed tab but the missed tab is just a collection of your missed alerts for the last 24 hours now jumping into the Safari app you're going to have a different UI than the iPhone for the tabs but just tap this little plus and it's going to open up a new tab and you'll have access to your favorites as well and an option down here in the bottom left corner to turn on private browsing now if you tap that then you're going to get a darker UI that way you're able to tell if you're in private browsing or if you're using the regular browsing and you'll notice here that you don't have a search field anymore actually that you have a smart search field and instead of using a search bar and a URL bar they're actually one in the same now now also tapping here on your bookmarks you have access to all your bookmarks and your reading list here now if we go into Siri, she has a brand new interface with multiple new voice commands integrated with Bing searches and Wikipedia. So there's a whole lot of new things with Siri that you need to check out. If we go into the music app here, you'll see a new UI for the artist tab. And the now playing tab has gotten a little bit of a makeover as well as all the options and controls here at the bottom with the album art on top. Now let's go back to the lock screen here and if we look at the now playing widget you can see there's a scrubber up here at the top so you can jump to a certain point in the song if you'd like to do that straight from the lock screen. So let's unlock the device and take a real quick look at some of the other stock apps. Now the app store here looks a lot different it has a new near me feature that you can see down here in the middle of the toolbar. So if you tap on that it populates certain apps that are popular in the area that you're in right then and you can download them directly from that screen. So let me know what you guys think about iOS 7. Are you happy with the changes? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.